I used Mistral's code Strel to solve hacker ranks hard problems. In this video, we're going to see how I solved hacker ranks hard problems with code Strel, which is an open weight from Mistral company, but for a coding specific model. And I'm going to show you also what are the things that I don't find the model to be really useful. Since the model has been launched, I've been thinking what are the different ways I can showcase what the model is good at. A couple of experiments failed, couple of experiments worked out. And one of the experiments that actually worked out is this hacker rank hard problems. So I'm going to show you how I managed to solve hacker rank hard problems using Mistral's chat, their own chat, it's called Lee chat. And we're going to use the code Strel model, but I'm also going to point out a couple of things that I did not absolutely like about this model. I'm not sure if it is fine tuning issues, but let's get into the video. First of all, I picked the Python problem statement within hacker rank. And again, if you're not familiar with hacker rank, hacker rank is this place where you can go practice programming problems. And also a lot of companies for their interviews use hacker rank. So probably like the first round screening would be from hacker rank. And if you do not know what is code Strel, code Strel is a model from Mistral. It's a very popular company. They have launched a couple of great models. Code Strel comes with a non-commercial license, even though you can use it for research and personal use. So code Strel has got the excellent language coverage. You have Python, Java, C++, PHP, Swift, and other languages as well. And also that uh, code still can do two different things. One, it can complete text, which means question and answering it can do. And also it can give you fill in the blanks, fill in the middle. So if you have got a code, if you have to fill in the middle, this can do it for you. So that makes an excellent uh, companion for a Visual Studio Code extension. So having said that, I would like to directly take you to the problem. So these are the two problems that I managed to solve using code still. So the first, one itself is that uh, this is a problem as you can see here given a function of blah 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 and uh, this is a python problem but as you can see here if you take this input it has to come up with that output i'm not going to get specifically into the problem in itself um, i would uh, let you decide if you want to go deep dive into the problem but i'll give you the problem in the youtube description for you to explore so typically the way hacker rank problems work is that there is a question, there is an answer. And when you submit the answer, your answer is evaluated. When you run it, your answer is evaluated on one of the test cases. But when you submit the code, like part of a exam or test or interview, it is validated on multiple test cases. So you actually have to solve the problem in the right way, rather than, you know, like memorizing and spitting out something for the code to work. And that's one of the reason I picked up this platform hacker rank rather than using anything like lead code where it's very easy to come up with an answer. Rather here you have to solve all the test cases. So to solve this problem, I'm going to go to my tool, screenshotting tool typically. I'm going to copy this entire thing and then convert it to text. After I have that, I'm going to create a new chat here. This is the new chat interface. And I'm going to paste the code and then I'm going to say, give me a Python code to solve this problem. And additionally, I can say this if you want, if you don't want, you can leave it out. So it is under a section called iter tools. And I can say this is a coding problem with iter tools. Cool. That's it. All I'm going to do is send it. I'm going to expect a Python code in return. So I'm going to get the Python code and paste the code here. So I have to first select Python three, paste the code here. First run the code just to make sure the code actually works fine. And as you can see, the sample test case zero, it worked fine. So I'm going to submit the code now and then uh, see that it has passed most of the test cases out of 16 test cases, It uh, but it failed a few things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just literally copy this message, come back here, paste this, and then expect Mistral or code still to figure out that there is something wrong and it has to fix the errors. Copy the code again, come back here. At this point, you might think that I'm being a robot rather than being a human. Yes, voila. So we have had in two prompts, or probably three prompts, the first one, and then we had like a follow up prompt. With that, we have successfully managed to solve a hard problem on hacker rank for Python. I want to take you through one more example. And as you can see here, it handled 17 test cases or 16 test cases, and I, you know, as you can see here, it doesn't tell you what is a test case. So all I told us that it failed the test case. 
and it managed to do it successfully. Now to go back again, and this is the one that we solved. We are going to do one more. And in this case, we're going to do the validating the postal code thing. So this is a regular expression problem. And let me do the same thing again. So I have got the text I'm to go to my screenshotting tool, select this. Okay. After I select this, go back here, click a new chat, paste the information. This is a Python coding problem. It's a regex based one. Please give me a code that works fine. I mean, you could have given anything. This is yeah. And I've got the code already. I'm going to copy the code. Come back here. It's Python three selected. Paste it here. Oh, this one I have to fill in. Cool. Copy this. Come back and paste it. And copy this. Come back and paste it. Make sure that the object name is fine. The same. Yeah, the object name is same and paste it first run the code just to make sure that the code is fine and if the code is fine we'll proceed yeah it is fine it says the sample test case zero is okay fine and i'm going to submit the code and after i submit the code i'm going to look for the test cases we have six test cases well in the zero shot we have successfully managed to solve a python problem a regular expression problem a hard problem on one of the most popular coding platforms and we also have managed to solve it with handling seven ticks, uh, seven test cases, technically yeah, seven test cases. Why do I have to do this? That's the first question. Now you might think, am I going to fake or cheat interviews? That's not the intention. I mean, that's definitely not the intention. The reason I'm trying to showcase this is unlike many other platforms, hacker rank test cases are quite good. They're robust. They evaluate the code on a lot of different parameters, different test cases. And the fact that codes will manage to solve this is super impressive. And the fact that it managed to solve it in zero shot and also sometimes, you know, one shot is further more impressive. The second thing is these coding abilities can really translate into real world use cases, whether it is to create internal SQL code, whether it is to create an agent driven application development, or whether it is to simply design your own agent system the programming capabilities of these models could be extremely handy. And that is one of the reason I decided to actually go in that route and then say whether Mistral's code still can solve programming problems that are not stack overflow questions that are not quite common on the internet. The thing that I do not like about Mistral's code still is that I feel that it is quite bad at following instructions in future shots. So what do I mean by the future? I shouldn't have said future shots, future conversations. Um, the first zero shot prompt that we give, I've always got a really good result. The first one, but one or two down the line, when there are issues, when I'm asking it to fix it, it does a terrible job. And I'm going to show you an example for that so that you think, you know, I'm being fair to the model, showing the models problems. I'm going to go and pick one more problem. In this case, it's a, it's a matrix. It has got an image here, but uh, you know, it is very well explained. I'm going to use OCR once again so that it should ideally understand the text. So I'm going to reduce the size. Okay. And uh, just copy the text, come back here and OCR is done. Okay. And I'm going to go here, click a new chart, paste this. This is a Python problem. I would need your help in solving this. Additionally, I'm going to also say that this is a rejects and parsing problem. This is a rejects and parsing problem. Cool. So we have given enough information and we already have a starter code. We also have a starter code. That's it. I've given this and I'm expecting it to solve it and then give it to me. So you can see that it has not managed to use this. Uh, but as you can see here, it is again taking the input here. Um, and uh, we are going to take this, go back here. I'm going to just paste it here. I'm going to say run it. I have a feeling that I'm making a mistake by doing input again and again. But let's see if the mistake is actually a mistake. So in this case, 
I previously when I tested it, I stumbled upon an error, but when I tried to resolve that error with follow up questions, it kind of did not understand either I had to be extremely good with my prompting skills or it kind of did not understand what I was trying to do. So there is a new of end of line reading issue. I think this is typically wherever I have uh, got input. Uh, I started getting this issue. Let me paste this. Go back here. Just paste this. I should have said where the line is. That's my bad. Okay. I should have said this one. And uh, it gives me the issue. It tells me with this information. Oh, that's quite strange. Uh, I don't need this. Run the code. Uh, let's try to run the code here. Technically for this particular input, it should give this is matrix hash. And you what you might notice is that it takes quite a bit of effort to resolve the issues. So the point I'm trying to allude here is that if you have a request, you get the right response. CodeStrel is amazing. It has got a really good context window because of the long context it has got. It manages to understand the problem better. It can give you longer code. If you give any starter code or documentation, it can do a pretty good job. But the moment you do not get a good response or fairly decent response in the first attempt, then you're going to have a hard time. At least like that's what I had. Maybe it's my prompting. It's just my observation. I had a hard time convincing it to fix the errors while it was much easier with GPT-4. So with GPT-4 Turbo, GPT-4O, I had a much fairly easier conversation in getting the code optimized rather than in Mistral what I struggled to do with, with CodeStrel. So this is my only complaint here. I don't have a lot of other issues and uh, I also try to do it with some other languages. I'm going to continue my testing with CodeStrel even though this is a model that is commercially not available. I believe this is one of the best coding models that are available today and I want to explore this model to see what all things that we can do. So probably one day we can build an agent based system with this model. But until that, this is a good model and um, thanks to Mistral for open sharing weight, openly sharing the weight, not open sourcing it. Should be correct about it. But anyways, yeah. See you in another video. Happy prompting.